Welcome to my 2023 wrapped up video. Is that really what we're calling it? Welcome to my 2023 wrapped up video. I want to start by thanking everyone for watching all year. It genuinely makes it worth doing, even though I do it, even if no one watches, because I just love doing it. And uh, start by wishing you a happy new year. I needed to write that down because my memory's crap. Happy new year. It is the 1st of January today. There isn't really any clues, but it is the 1st of January. Right, so I just want to run through a few things I did over the year. And, uh, yeah. On the 1st of January, last year, I released a video I thought it was amazing of us being idiots on Black Rock Sands Beach in my Shogun. We were just being stupid, climbing out of the car, jumping off it and stuff. And nobody watched it. <laughs> I got to drive a Nissan GTR, still don't know how that happens, but that was amazing. I drove from North Wales to South Wales in the night and there was no traffic and it was just unbelievable. This is not my Nissan GTR, but I do have the keys and I am going to drive it. We did the Nissan Micro Challenge, which was the most fun I've maybe ever had, except destroying the caravan. But the Nissan Micro Challenge was great. And anyone that thinks I destroyed the car, well, it was going to the scrapyard anyway. And I just gave it a bit more life before it hit the scrapyard. <laughs> my E46 for an Nürburgring trip that never happened but it will and I've been really enjoying modding it and fixing it and making the videos obviously so I can't wait to get that to the Nürburgring in 2024 because I've been going every year since I was 21 until 2023 and I could not be more sad about it I absolutely love the Nürburgring the whole trip is just amazing the drive there it's great once you're there it's great and the drive home is great until you get to Dover and the whole build up to it and getting your car ready and everyone getting so excited. Oh, I just love the neighbor going so much. So I can't wait to go back there again. Uh, hopefully, when does it open? March. Hopefully March or April. We'll see. Can I just have a look around you? Yeah? yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Can you see that? It's that leaning. Can I have a little test drive in it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fitting new coilovers to the E46 today. They are Meister R's and they look absolutely beautiful. And hopefully they'll make the car much, much better. No, no, no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. perfect. <laughs> oh, that was good. No, 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 no. We did a 4x4 challenge and compared modifier to standard 4x4s and that was a great day out with my dad and my little brother and my mates and we just had a laugh and I think the video is quite good too. Challenge number one. Modified children first. This won't do that. <laughs> it won't do it. Are you having doubts? Keep it over this way. 
<laughs> it's stuck. Yeah, boy. Crashed it. Ah, crashed. Well done, stand the show gun. Same path. Oh, it does take it with a lot more reuse, doesn't it? I'm glad he's having fun. That's fun. I reviewed the Mini and decided I wanted to do more car reviews because I've only done two or three reviews this year. And I actually quite like doing them. I like telling you what I think about something. So I'll try and do more of them. And they seem to get the most views as well. Everyone loves a car review. I feel like I can tell you a reasonable amount about how it drives because I've been driving three or four different ones on motorways and A roads and B roads and back roads and alleyways and car parks. The gear change is so easy and smooth and it's a nice clutch. They do feel very, very well put together as a whole. What else? I flew to Croatia to review a Jeep Renegade and nobody watched it, <laughs> but it doesn't deter me. I love it anyway. And that was a good trip and a crap Jeep. Hello, I've popped over to Croatia to do a quick review on this slightly menacing looking Jeep Renegade and see how fast it can go. And this is the perfect place for it thanks to this strip. <laughs> 70 kilometers an hour, 80 kilometers an hour, 90 kilometers an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, 110. One thirty. One forty. One fifty. And I've run out of road. If these two can fit in, I'm sure Clarkson can. I started doing car transporter vlogs, which everyone seems to be enjoying, so I'll keep them going in some form. Uh, yeah, I don't know how, but I'll keep them going some more. It's just the same thing every time, but yeah, I'll keep them going some more. <laughs> Hello, welcome to a daily vlog. Hello, welcome back to another car transport and vlog. Good morning, welcome to another car transport and vlog. Hello, welcome to. <laughs> f off. Hello, welcome to another car transport and vlog. Okay, so I'm all filled up Speed and it's. Camera reported ahead. I don't care, I'm in the Tuareg. And it's another car transport and vlog. Hello, welcome back to another car transport and vlog. We demolished the caravan. Genuinely one of the best days of my life, just being idiots with my best mates. And it really was, like that was probably the best day of my life. It was just such a laugh. We went in the evening, we didn't plan it at all. We just knew we were gonna destroy this caravan. And as you can see in the video, it got destroyed. No, it's, it's, open. Open. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's closed now. Is it bad that I really, really, really wanna go and get in that caravan? I've got a camera in my hand, you dick! <laughs> the cans are shut, I've no idea what's going on. Whew. You nearly killed me, man. <laughs> I, I, I went flying with the camera and smashed the camera on the floor. 
Can we got that caravan <laughs> off a gay old couple. <laughs> I think you might need to go full send through here, but... Just got lost on a caravan and holiday, honest. <laughs> I bought a ridiculous go-kart and tried to have some fun with that, but nobody was interested. But I'll probably keep doing stuff with it, because it's fun. <laughs> okay, let's trial it. Jack bought the L200 Mark I and bought it from Thailand, so hopefully we'll see a lot more of that this year, because I haven't seen it since I last dropped it off in the last video it was in. And I don't know what he's doing with that, because he's renovating his house as well. But we'll make sure we see more of that. Right, we pulled over in a very noisy lay by to have a little look. It's locked. <laughs> look at the size of the bed. It's huge. I love how basic it is. Proper old school dials and that. Windy windows, a broken glove box, and a bench from the back of a car. What's this from? Uh, course of the XR, rear bench. <laughs> course of the XR. So you can pretend that you're in the back of a course <laughs> like this. <laughs> Right, so that's my 2023 wrapped up video. Great title, I know. So a little update on the cars. The Touareg is good as gold. Needs nothing doing, just needs um, diesel putting in, and it's good. The Shogun is sawned. The motorbike is sawned. The E46 needs engine mounts and a front wheel hub, because it's like that and it needs to be like that, the bit that holds the wheel on. So that needs doing, I'll do that soon. The Jazz is good as gold, never needs any money spending on it, just keeps going, that's the old faithful. And that's about it, isn't it? Oh, and I bought a new car, yeah, which I'll uh, reveal soon. It's actually been on the channel before. That's too much of a clue, I hope you don't get that now. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my 2023 videos. I enjoyed making them. And I'm going to do more in 2024, and I can't wait for that. 2023 was actually a bit shit for me. But I'm not going to get into that. It's going to get much, much better in 2024. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Show me some love. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.